ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुधीर ये नष्टु अभद्रेशु नि भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नाइष्टिकी हम हरे कृष्ण डियर डिवोटीज टुडे वी आर रीडिंग श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो थ्री चैप्टर लेवन टेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन O Bidura, the sun enlivens all living entities with his unlimited heat and light. He diminishes the duration of life of all living entities in order to release them from their illusion of material attachment, and he en enlarges the path of elevation to the heavenly kingdom. He thus moves in the uh, firmament with great velocity, and therefore everyone should offer him. Respects once every five years with all ingredients of worship. Text sixteen. Vidura said, "I now understand the life durations of the residents of the Pitta planets and Hemali planets, as well as that of the human beings. Now kindly inform me of the durations of life of those greatly learned living entities who are beyond the range of a kalpa." Text seventeen. O spiritually powerful one, you can understand the movements of eternal time, which which is the controlling form of the supreme personality of Godhead. Because you are self-realized person, you can see everything by the power of mystic vision. Text eighteen. Maitre said, O Vidura, the four millenniums are called the Satya, Treta, Dwapara, and Kaliyuga. The aggregate number of years of all these combined is equal to twelve thousand years of the demigods. Text nineteen. The duration of Satya millennium equals four thousand eight hundred years of the years of the demigods. The duration of Treta millennium equals three thousand six hundred years of the demigods. The duration of the Dwapara millennium equals two thousand four hundred years. And that of the Kali millennium is one thousand two hundred years of the demigods. Text twenty. The transitional periods before and after every millennium, which are a few hundred years, as as aforementioned, are known as yuga yuga sandhyas or the conjunctions of two millenniums, according to the expert astronomers. In those periods, all kinds of religious activities are performed. Text twenty one. O Vidura, in the Satya millennium, man can properly and completely maintain the principles of religion. But in other millenniums, religion gradually decreased by one part as irreligion was prop proportionately admi admitted. Text twenty two. Outside of the three planetary systems, Swarga. Martya and Patala, the four yugas multiplied by one hundred, comprise one day on the planet of Brahma. A similar period comprises a night of Brahma in which the creator of the universe goes to sleep. Text twenty three. After the end of Brahma's night, the creation of the three worlds begins again in the daytime of Brahma, and they continue to exist through the life durations of. Fourteen consecutive manus or fathers of mankind. Text twenty four. Each and every manu enjoys a life of a little more than seventy one sets of four millenniums. Text twenty five. After the dissolution of each and every manu, the next manu comes in order in order along with the descendants who rule over the different planets. But the seven famous sages and demigods like Indra and their followers, such as the Gandharvas, all appear simultaneously with Manu. Text twenty six. In the creation during Brahma's day, the three planetary systems, Swarga, Martya, and Patala, re revolve, and the inhabitants, including the lower animals, human beings, demigods, and Pitas, appear and disappear in terms of their Proto activities.
text 27. In each and every change of Manu, the Supreme Personality of Godhead appears by manifesting his internal potency in different incarnations as Manu and others. Thus he manifests, thus he maintains the universe by discovered power. Text 28. At the end of the day, under the insignificant portion of the mode of darkness, the powerful manifestation of the universe merges in the darkness of night. By the influence of eternal, eternal time, the innumerable living entities remain merged in that dissolution and everything is silent. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Whenever you are ready, please take over the call. Hare Krishna. Prabhuji, do you want to share the screen now or uh, I can just leave the screen at this? Um, yeah, you can, uh, you can um, take off the sharing, Mataji. Yeah. Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Radharani Mataji. Krishna Yavasudevaya Devaki Nandanaya Chananda Gopakumaraya Govindaya Namo Namaha Vairagya Vidyana Jabakti Yogam Sikshashtame Kampurusha Puranam Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sari Radhari Krapam Budir Tamaham Prapadhi Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare. So today we are seeing a wonderful section. Uh, this is again a samvadam between uh, Maitri Rishi and Vidura. So here, very beautifully, uh, Prabhupada summarizes in the verse number 14 how these uh, from one truti, which is actually less than uh, a second, up till one uh, paksha, 15 days, um, how gradually the time is actually uh, measured in Vedic culture. Nimusha, uh, Shana, Kashta, Lagu, Danda, Prahara, and then one day, night, and paksha. So, and then finally, Prabhupada summarizes that uh, uh, two pakshas is one month, 12 months is one calendar year or one full orbit of the sun. And uh, human beings are generally expected to live up to 100 years. And uh, that is the way of controlling the measure of eternal time. And then he puts the Brahma Samhita verse so how the sun is actually uh, controlling, uh, is under the control of the Lord and is like the eye of the Lord, which is rotating uh, on the fixed orbit of eternal time. So the sun is basically, if you look at the sun and moon, basically they are uh, uh, cal the calculation of day and night based on the sun and moon's orbit. So because of sun and moon, the time is actually functioning in this material world. So that Prabhupada is uh, quoting on the verse number 14. So today we are starting from verse number 15. Uh, Vidura's uh, Maitreya Rishi is continuing here. He's saying, oh Vidura, the sun is basically, is the, uh, which enlivens all the living entities. So what is the purpose of the sun? The purpose of the sun is, to produce heat and light. So the sun gives, actually diminishes all the darkness and it also gives the heat which is necessary to live in this planet. Uh, sun also uh, uh, diminishes the duration of life. Uh, so sun is basically, you know, um, sun is always present, but because of the rotation, um, we see day and night and due to that this the whole uh, time is manifesting and here it is mentioned that uh, sun uh, el enlarges the path of elevation to heavenly kingdom also so that's this because of the, um, the sun is actually you know um, in the spiritual literatures many places sun is compared to the um, sun is compared to the light 
which is uh, enlightenment. Krishna Surya Sama, Maya Haya Andakar, Yaha Krishna Taha Nahi, Maya Radhikar. So sun is compared to uh, light and also in this universe also sun is under the control of the Supreme Lord, which is which is uh, personally uh, said by Lord Brahmaji. So, and uh, Vidra is saying, uh, now uh, in the verse number 16, um, uh, Vidra is speaking basically, Vidra is saying uh, to Maitreya Rishi that I now understand, okay, the durations of uh, residents of Pita planets and heavenly planets as well as the uh, human beings, Manushya Nam, Pitra, Deva, Manushya Nam. So, Vidra is saying, I now understand all three, uh, you know, the time duration for all three living entities. Now, kindly inform me the duration of uh, life of learned living ent entities, Paresham, Gatim, Achakshwa, who are beyond the range of Kalpa. So, so now, so now Vidra is asking that what about those living entities who are beyond the range of Kalpa? What about their lifetime? What about their how their time is duration of life is you know manifesting? So like that. So if you uh, look at this Brahma's creation, the fourteen planetary systems: Bhu, Bhu Loka, Bhu Loka, Mahar Loka, Tapas Loka, Janal Loka, Satya Loka. Uh, or Brahmaloka, the seven planetary systems on the top and the seven on the bottom. Atala, Vitala, Sutala, Talatala, Rasatala, Mahatala, Patala. So these seven and seven comprises the 14 planetary systems. Now out of these 14 planetary systems, some are uh, during the dissolution, some actually go under the water. And some planets do not actually get uh, uh, destroyed, so they remain. So those uh, Prabhupada is quoting that uh, the learned living entities like uh, Brugurishi, Sanaka, they are not affected by the dissolution, this pralaya that happens during the night of Brahmaji. And uh, each of these planets are uh, controlled by different Kala Chakra or different eternal time. And the uh, uh, the earth planet time and then the elevated uh, planet's time are totally different. So therefore, uh, Vidra is asking about the duration of life on other planetary systems here. Um, so here, um, Maitreya Rishi is uh, answering, Bhagavan Veda Kalashya so he's uh, everything is uh, you know the eternal time is uh, is uh, you know is uh, controlled by form of the supreme lord which is controlling the um, so he, he's saying that the eternal time the moments of eternal time which is the controlling form of supreme lord and because Vidra is a self-realized person, you know, you can actually, um, so Vidra is saying actually Maitre Rishi that uh, he is, uh, because of your powerful vision, uh, you can actually see the, uh, in your mystic vision, that uh, with, you know, such a mystic vision that Maitre Rishi has, and Vidra is glorifying him and uh, asking him this question. So, Prabhupada also quoting that uh, those who have mystic power, mystic vision, the transcendental sages can actually see, they are called Trikala Jnanis, Trikala Jnanis. So, they can see past, present and future also. So, the devotees, um, they have such vision and they can see clearly from the revealed scriptures and from their uh, transcendental, you know, the lots that is revealing in the transcendental heart. So they can understand the science of Krishna very well. <laughs> so this is also called Yoga Siddhi. Uh, so the devotees, uh, you know, they don't uh, endeavor to perform this Yoga Siddhis or perfection in mystic powers. But because of the grace of the Lord, they also become Trikala Jnanas. So they don't specifically endeavor for this. 
um so and then maitreya vacha maitreya is saying that uh, vidura there are four millenniums in the uh, cycle of this eternal time it's satya treta krita treta dwapara cha kalis cheta chaturyugam so krita yuga or satya yuga both are same and treta yuga dwapara yuga and kali yuga so these together aggregate um, so all of these years combined um, together is 12000 years of the demigods so so these four yugas in the earthly planet when we compare to the swarga lokas time that is 12000 years of the devatas so the years of uh, so the years of devatas is uh, proposed saying 360 years of the human kind so 12000 of the devatas years including the transitional period which are called yugas sandhyas so now if you combine all the four uh, four yugas uh, the satya yuga treta yuga dwapara yuga and kali yuga it comes to 430 300 million 320000 years so kali yuga is like four um, 432000 years and into two is basically 864000 years is uh dwapara yuga into 3 is treta and into 4 is satya yuga so together comes to 4 million 320000 years now this 4 million 320000 years of four yugas um, is in the earthly planetary system is equal to 12000 years of demigod planetary system so that including the transitional periods which is called yuga sandhyas so now we are in actually yuga sandhya time like dwapar yuga just left and kali yuga started now the kali is not come into full force the dwapar yuga is getting uh, slowly slowly is you know uh, leaving and kali is rising kali yuga is rising so this is called the sandhya period uh, is called yuga sandhya so now so the duration of satya satya yuga is just the satya yuga um, is just putting now he gave a com- combined together 12000 years now he is dividing these 12000 into uh, what is equal to satya yuga what is equal to treta and what is equal to dwapar like that so 400 4800 years uh, is he is saying satya yuga 3600 years of devatas uh, time is treta yuga and dwapar yuga 2400 years and kali yuga 1200 years so to, together it comes to 12000 years here so um and then um maitre rishi is going on he is saying that uh, the transitional period that's this is called the sandhya time the sandhya 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 amshayo antah so he is saying the transition time between every millennium before and after which are actually few hundred years they are called yuga sandhyas or conjunction of two millenniums um so he is maitreya rishi is what maitreya rishi is saying is during the yuga sandhya time which is very auspicious for performing religious activities um so currently the yuga sandhya for dwapar yuga is going on uh, so considering this this is also an auspicious time for performing all religious activities and propod also mentions that uh, krishna consciousness will go for 10000 years uh, in the in this period and which will be the golden age uh, for uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu's teachings to be spread all over the universe so and also bhagavatam is also confirming that this is very auspicious time for uh, religious activities and uh, maitreya is saying in the satya yuga what was actually dharmas dharmas chatush chatush chatupat manujan krite so in the satya yuga and the krita yuga 
dharma was properly um, you know uh, was properly maintained all the principles of religion was properly maintained but uh, the other yugas vyati uh, padena vardate so gradually one padena means one by one part by one part gradually in the other yugas it gets declined so so now in the kali yuga like uh, one part of the every religion every part of the religion every principle of the religion is remaining so all of the four principles of religion only one fourth is remaining in the kali yuga now so now kali yuga is beginning i mean sandhya yuga is um, leaving so now uh, it is just one fourth is remaining and gradually as the kali yuga progresses that one fourth also gradually diminishes to the point of at most no religion so the end of kali yuga so now um, maitreshi is saying that uh, outside this three planetary systems so swarga Mar martya and patala loka the so now he is going beyond the universe the Swarga, Martya, and Pataloga, that uh, the four yugas multiplied by 1000 comprises one day on the planet of Brahma. So, so now, 1000 cycles of four yugas is 12 hours of Lord Brahmaji, that is being uh, said here. And similarly, 12 hours of um, night, night time is 1000 kalpas, 1000 cycles of four yugas. Um, so, in which the creator of the universe goes to sleep. So, here it said that Yan uh, Nimilati Visvakshuk. So, Brahma is goes to sleep during that time. So, when Brahma is in his night time, then what happens is all the planetary systems below the Brahmaloka, all are submerged in the water of devastation. So, Prabhupada is saying that in the sleeping condition, Brahma is actually dreaming about Garbhodaksai Vishnu and he takes instruction from the Lord for the rehabilitation of the devastated area of space. So, now in his dream also he is taking uh, Lord's instruction and he is for the construction of the universe again uh, in the morning he is taking instructions from Garbhodaksai Vishnu. Very interesting here. So, and verse number 23, in the night time of Brahmaji, um, and after the night time, and after the end of the night, when Brahma is awake, again the creation of the three worlds, uh, again they start. So, in the Bhagavad Gita also it says, Bhutva, Bhutva, Praliyate. So, Arjuna, this creation is again, again manifested, again, again unmanifested. So, Bhutva, Bhutva, Praliyate. So, again, it continues to exist through the life durations of 14 con consecutive Manus. Manun, Bhujamsa, Chatur, Dasha. So, in all the there are 14, Chatur, Dasha is like 14 Manus. They rule this entire 12 hours of Brahma, which is 1000 Kalpas. And then again, the nighttime dissolution happens. So, and then uh, Maitreshi is saying how many, how many kalpas, four millenniums, uh, that these uh, manus actually rule. Swamsam kalam manur bhungte sadikam hi yeka, shap, yeka shaptatim. So, yeka shaptatim is like 71. So, they rule 71. 71 four millenniums or kalpas uh, each manu rules and uh, these details are mentioned also in vishnu puran it seems and so it's a vishnu puran it says that one manu uh, he uh, the duration of one manu is 852000 years on the demigod planetary system uh, calculation from the human planetary system calculation is 306,720,000 years. That is the duration of one Manu. So, and then uh, Maitreya is continuing. He is saying that uh, 
after the dissolution or uh, after each manu leaves the next manu immediately he comes in order along with his descendants who rule over the planets um but the seven sages and demigods like indra and their followers and gandharvas all appear simultaneously with manu so again one more interesting uh, detail is given here so when the manu leaves all of the the devatas and all the other gandharvas charanas vidyadharas all of those together they all uh, you know unmanifest and then the new set of indra and the new set of gandharvas all they come along with the manu it seems so so this this is again like a complete uh, uh, complete change of universal uh, affairs like those who manage the universal affairs everybody <clears throat> completely change along with all the devatas just like in this world we see like when when, when one government leaves the, all of the the government officials along with the president leaves and the new president comes it's, it's like similar situation here for the purpose of maintaining this creation <clears throat> so and um, is saying that in the creation during brahma's day um, the swarga loka martya loka and patala loka they revolve and then the inhabitants like uh, lower animals tiryan nara pitru devanam like tiryan is like animals nara is like human beings devatas and pitras sambhavo yatra karma bhi so they appear and then disappear in terms of their fruitive activities karma bhi so according to their activities they do they get different bodies either in animals human beings devatas or pitras and then they live for some time and then they, they disappear so it's beautifully here again maitreya rishis summarizing you know how they come manifest and then unmanifest so um, again here it's saying that uh, manvantareshu bhagavan so again here maitreya rishi is saying that in each and every manus period manvantara bhagavan vibrat satvam swamurti bi so supreme personality of godhead he also manifest by his internal potency in different incarnations swamurti bi mean different forms different incarnations uh as manu adi bi ridam vishvam so he also sometimes manifest as manu also you know lord comes as manu sometimes lord takes the position of indra you know because we we do not know how deep his past times can go how you know what all different forms he manifest but for the purpose of creation maintenance he he takes all of these incarnations especially the vishnu incarnations that appear in this planetary system like varaha vamana narasimha all of those different incarnations lord uh, takes and then he uh, maintains this universe by his uh, power divine potencies avati udita paurushaha so the divine divine potencies lord maintains and finally this verse number 28 which is the last verse for today uh, maitreya rishi is saying at the end of the day at the end of the day meaning um, at the end of the brahma's day time so which is the thousand kalpas thousand yuga cycles at the end of the day what happens is tamo matram upadaya so the under the influence of mode of darkness so the powerful manifestation of the universe merges in the darkness of night so at that time the whole universe merges in the influence of uh, by the influence of eternal time kalena anugata aseshaha so so because of this eternal time innumerable living entities 
they just curse, merged in the dissolution. And then, uh, aste tushnim dinatyaye. So everything becomes tushnim, silent at the end of this um, pralaya. So during the night time of Lord Brahmaji. So here, uh, Prabhupada is saying that uh, the dissolution of three worlds is actually affected by Rudra. In the by the uh, fire of eternal time, all the three worlds, the Rudra, um, by his influence, he submerges the whole creation except the Brahmaloka under the water of dissolution. Um, so, this innumerable living entities are merging into the dissolution which is just nothing but a drop uh, not drop of a curtain of the scene of Supreme Lord's energy. So here it's described as a curtain of Maya for the Supreme Lord's energy. So Kunti Devi also says, Maya Javanika Channam Agnyana Adokshajam Nalakshashe Modadrusha Nato Natya Daroyataha. So the Lord plays the drama and nobody can understand what he is doing because he is beyond this curtain of Maya. So... So that is the final verse for today. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Radharani Mataji. Yeah, let us all pray. Um, yeah, Hare Krishna Mataji. Thank you so much, Prabhuji, for a very beautiful class. Thank you to all devotees. Let's pay our presences to all the devotees and Prabhuji. Uh, Vansha Karpata Rikyasya, Pasindu Piyai Vachya, Patita Anam Pavane Piyo, Vaishnu Vipiyo, Namo Namaha, Rantat Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai, Shri Labrabhu Kaur Ki Jai, His Grace Krishna Vaspetu Sukhi Jai. Thank you, Prabhuji Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhuji.